Instagram clamps down on diet and cosmetic surgery posts. Campaigners have voiced concerns over the impact dietary advertising on social media has on young people. This is the photo of Jamila Jamil. She has campaigned for the changes. Actress Jamila Jamil campaigns on body positivity. And this is the photo of Kim Kardashian West. On the flip side, she has promoted diet aids on social media. Earlier Top Doctor said that celebrity ads for diet aids should be banned. Instagram has announced stricter measures on posts related to weight loss products and cosmetic surgery. Some posts will be hidden for those who are under 18. And the others which promote miraculous weight loss products will be removed. News from BBC. All photos may not represent the story. Watch to learn English the way you've learned your mother tongue as this video is especially made. There have been increasing concerns over the impact promoting diet products can have on young people. Actor and body positivity activist Jamila Jamil said the move was a huge win in the fight against the diet and detox industry. Unrealistic, get thin quick, promotions will be taken down. Young people will be restricted from viewing some posts related to dieting and cosmetic surgery if they have an incentive to buy. The changes will also apply to Facebook, which owns Instagram. Instagram's public policy manager, Emma Collins said, we want Instagram to be a positive place for everyone that uses it and this policy is part of our ongoing work to reduce the pressure that people can sometimes feel as a result of social media. She added, advice had been sought from experts in the field of social media policy. There has been increasing concern over the effect the cosmetic and diet industry is having on people through the promotion of unrealistic goals. In February, the medical director of National Health Service England, Stephen Powis, called for a ban on celebrity-endorsed social media ads that are promoting weight loss aids. He stated that products were having a damaging effect on the physical and mental health of young people. Moz Jamil is the founder of the Iway movement. She reacts against content promoting weight loss products and unhealthy lifestyles. She welcomes the changes. She said, Facebook and Instagram taking a stand to protect the physical and mental health of people online sends an important message out to the world. I'm thrilled to have been able to work towards this with them, alongside a host of other experts who shed light on the danger of these products. Social media companies should ban damaging celebrity-endorsed social media ads promoting weight loss aids, England's top doctor has said. Some celebrities with large followings are promoting products such as diet pills and detox teas on social media. Professor Stephen Powis, NHS medical director, argues these products have a damaging effect on the physical and mental health of young people. He is also urging influential celebrities to act responsibly. Professor Powis said, if a product sounds like it is too good to be true, then it probably is. The risks of quick fix weight loss outweigh the benefits, and advertising these products without a health warning is damaging. Highly influential celebrities are letting down the very people who look up to them, by peddling products which are at best ineffective and at worst harmful. Social media companies have a duty to stamp out the practice of individuals and companies using their platform to target young people with products known to risk ill health, he said. Some influential celebrities have promoted weight loss aids for payment on social media, and this type of advertising is growing as brands realize how influential their posts are with young people. The Competition and Markets Authority recently announced a clampdown on celebrities who do not clearly label their posts as being paid for advertisements, but there are few rules around what they can promote. NHS England's National Mental Health Director Claire Murdoch told BBC Breakfast that the intention was not to suppress business or comment on what good business looks like. However, she expressed concern over the influence these celebrities had over young people at an impressionable stage in their lives. Both the celebrities themselves and these social media companies themselves should be more responsible, she added. Kim Kardashian West, who has 126 million followers on Instagram, was criticized for advertising appetite suppressing lollipops last year. She later deleted the post. In January, she posted an ad promoting meal replacement shakes. Kim Kardashian tweeted, hashtag ad you guys all know I love at Flatamico shakes. I've just restarted them, it's day two today, and I'm already feeling so good.
We had a hua gay Christmas this year and between that, New Year's and everything in between. I felt like it was impossible to fit in my regular workouts and eat healthy. But this program is giving me a kick in the right direction that I need. These meal replacement shakes are so good and they're helping me get my tummy back to flat. I'm already feeling amazing and I'm so excited for the next few weeks. Because they're all about getting women back on track. They've got a 20% off sale going on right now, so if you want to start 2019 off right, trust me, you're going to want to check them out. P.S. I'm doing the chocolate program. Katie Price, 1.9 million followers, has advertised an appetite suppressant on her Instagram page, as did Vicky Patterson, 4.2 million followers, of TV shows Geordie Shaw and Loose Women. Lauren Gudger of The Only Way Is Essex has also advertised diet aids. Actress Jamila Jamil, who campaigns for body positivity, has described Kardashian West as a terrible and toxic influence on young girls, and a meal replacement shake as laxative teas. Most Jamil is the founder of the iWay social media campaign on Twitter and Instagram, where she encourages women to measure their value beyond their weight and looks. Research from the National Citizens Service shows that at least one in four young people say that their appearance was the most important thing to them, with over half of girls feeling the pressure to be thinner, and a third of boys thinking they should be more muscular. Taking any substance which impacts the body, without proper medical advice and support, is a risk, said Professor Powers. Cosmetic treatments and get-thin-quick products which are readily and increasingly available and promoted, can be harmful if not used correctly. Please subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching.